Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of the Killy Career. Today, we have a few more games for you, including a big one against Celtic. We'll start it off by traveling to Motherwell, then back at Rugby Park to face Livingston, then a trip to Aberdeen. A big home game versus Celtic at home, and then finishing off away at Hibs. We enter deadline day, but don't plan on much. Let's give Danny a new contract. Crucial is fine, as he's a certified baller. Three years, please. No release clause. Same wages. He agrees. Get in there. Off camera, I also gave Meg Ennis, Watson, and Donnelly new contracts. Not sure FPL Hive would like to see that. Buemo at Sociedad. And that's it for the transfer window. Nothing happened for us. Quick academy check. Backer looks decent. Here's the team I'm going with. Addo starts, but nothing that different. Two great sides going head to head in what's sure the to be an exciting fixture. Join us for all the action coming up next. Mother well kick us off. Mayo gets it into Danny. He hits it, but it's just wide. Good effort. Corner. Danny Bear to take. Swings it into Findlay, but that's a brilliant save from the goalie. Round two. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Into Findlay. Ooh, but just over the bar. Sent. That's a dangerous ball over the top. Great sweeping, Dennis. Go on, Menji. Great pass out to Danny. Good skill. What a ball to Vassal. Oh, and that's a great goal. Brilliant skills from Danny and Menji, and a good finish too. Oh my god, it's Bellingham. Beautiful goal. Very nicely finished. Get in there. Look at that dribbling, and then that pass. Great link up. Great to be ahead. Sue. Armstrong and Vassal insane link up. Go on Danny, you've got space. What a ball, and what a finish from Kennedy. That was a ridiculously good cross on young Daniel's weak foot too. Holland. Two goal cushion to help us there. Shush mother well. Just look at that. Great volley too. Kennedy the tap in and penalty merchant. Just like Ronaldo. Homer moment. Thanks, Stewart. Second half gets underway. Danger here. Penalty. You having a laugh, ref? Who's paid him? Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Clear dive. Every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. What a save from Dennis. That is ridiculous. Super will Dennis in goal. Go on, Meg Ennis. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Good pass. Great ball. He shoots. Get in there. Wait. What? Offside. Fair enough. Corner for Motherwell. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Great play from Dennis. Lions. 
And it's all over. We claim a good 1-0 win to start the episode. Good performance and stay top. Look at that from Danny. Just too good. One goal and six assists is a brilliant start. Danny or Vassal better win it. They deserve it. That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this is all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. All the drama and all the action coming up next on EA TV. We name an unchanged lineup. No problems at all on the weather front. As we this is very dangerous. That had to be done. Take one for the team. Only a yellow somehow. Livingston with an attack. Oh no. Oh wow, what a save from Super Dennis. Go on Watson. Now, who can he play it to? Go Kennedy. He hits it, and he definitely should have scored. I'm not sure what to think. We got lucky with that save from Dennis, but we also should have scored at the end. Massive waste of 90 minutes. Factos. But there was a real lack of creativity and goal. Neither side did enough to win the game. Stewart spitting facts. Well, Chase man of the match played at Harrogate last season. Bang average for us. Now let's quickly get ready to face Aberdeen. Only change is Addo out for Lions. shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is live coverage of this Scottish Premiership match. It is Aberdeen and they face Kilmarnock. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Come on, lads. Dangerous attack. And also watch out for one of the central midfield. Oh no. Wahi. He's through. Well in Corey. It had to be done again. Only yellow somehow. Go on, Kennedy. You're through. What's that touch? That was a great chance for a goal. Penalty. Danny to take. Can he make it 1-0? Come on, get in. Sends the keeper the wrong way and bangs IT in. That's surely the winner. Well in Danny. Homer's in boo. Complete scenes. Get in there. Thanks Danny Pookie. Shush Aberdeen. Ferguson Merchants. And it's all over. We claim a narrow victory with a late winner. Not sure we deserved that, but who cares eh? Danny saves us again. Thanks, guys. Good to see you here. We'll get started with the questions now. Press conference. Also, sorry this keeps looping. It's what I had to do to make it look cool. First question. Is everyone fit for the Celtic fixture? Yes, no injuries, and all players are fit and ready to play. Next question. Obviously, Armstrong is in incredible form. How integral is he to this squad of players? Yes. Danny is a brilliant player for us, and he brings so much quality and creativity, as well as leadership in the dressing room. Do you want to win the Premiership? I mean, I wouldn't complain. It's definitely a goal of mine, and hopefully some point. You added Addo to the squad. What does he bring to the pool of players you have? Edmund brings some excellent creativity and helps us carry the ball forward well. He settled in really well in a new environment. Recently, Kennedy and Armstrong have been running the show. Are your tactics working well? Clearly. 
They're already class players, but the way we play means we play wide. Which massively helps them, and the team in general. How loyal are the fans to you? Do they play a big role? The fans are brilliant. They're always bringing support home and away, which is helping these great performances. And we just hope to keep rewarding them for watching us. All right, and that concludes the press conference. Leave more questions in the comments below, and I'll answer them next time. This is the team I'm going with for our big game. A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is predicting which side will outfox the other. Live on EA TV. Well, the weather forecasters... Vassal will kick us off. For football, and that... Kennedy. Good pass to Watson. And Vassal hits it. It's saved, but it rebounds out. McGinnis heads it. Get in. We take a 1-0 lead against Celtic. That is massive. Exactly what we need. Can we hold on? Incredibly scrappy, but who cares? A goal's a goal. Good jump from Magennis, to be fair. Joe Hart was not shuffling enough. That's a great jump there. It slowly trickles into the net. What you gonna do, Rogers? Celtic coming forward. Need to try and push them out. Oh no, it's one all. Celtic grab a quick equalizer with Dennis left in no man's land. Terrible defending too. Should be doing better. Maeda plays it to Furuhashi. He hits it and Celtic go ahead. We had the lead and it's already gone. Terrible defending. Furuhashi with his second. We can't deal with him. Can we grab an equalizer? Corner. Watson to take. Can they draw level here? The crowd certainly think so. Great delivery to Findlay. Heads it onto the post, and then it's clear. How did we not score? And the referee takes a chance to contemplate what is next. Danny territory this. Easy catch for Hart. What a turn from Danny. Got space. Dink to back post. And Magennis heads IT in again for US. More back level. Brilliant play from Danny and well headed from Magennis. Danny grabs another assist and Magennis gets the goal. Exactly what we need. Fans go in crazy. Clever cross and good positioning make a great goal. Oh, what a save from Dennis. That is brilliant. O'Reilly is on the attack. What a save again from Dennis, bailing out our awful defense. Taylor's got too much room. Dinks it. Indaba clears it straight to Furuhashi, who scores a late goal for Celtic. He completes his hat-trick, but that was awful defending. That clearance from Indaba was poor and straight to their striker. We don't have long to bounce back. Don't know why they're going crazy, it's only killing. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact. Indaba just passes it straight to them. Check his lad Brooks account. Meet a quick goal. And it's all over. We claim a narrow defeat to Celtic. But after simulating a two-all draw with Hibs, we conclude the episode. Thanks so much for watching. I massively appreciate it. If you enjoyed, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave any suggestions on what to improve in the comments. But it's goodbye from Pelly.